Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. We're going to talk a quick and easy and delicious brew day today. Yep. Uh, you remember uh, when I challenged Steve to make uh, a gallon of uh, extract pale ale as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Well, I scaled, that was a one gallon recipe. It went so fast I forgot it almost. <laughs> I scaled that up. So it's nothing but malt extract and delicious cascade hops. And it doesn't take anything, any time at all. To, no time. To do, and it's real easy to clean up. Do you want to, and we've got some right here. We've but, got some. But do you want to see how it was brewed? I'd love to see how it was brewed. Here you go. Welcome to the laziest brew day ever. It's, I, I'm so lazy today, I'm not even setting up a tripod. You're not going to see me, except you might see my hand or my foot. You'll see my dog. Dog's right there. New dog that we adopted. She's uh, She's been wired for satellite. And uh, she gets Sirius radio. Because Sirius is the dog star. You know, it's just, just a little joke for astronomy fans out there. What we have is uh, we're going to do a 15-minute pale ale. Uh, with uh, six pounds of light, dry, wow, that's the loudest fly I've ever heard. Six pounds of light, dry malt extract. And uh, we have uh, three ounces of Cascade hops. Uh, there's two ounces for the, uh, the initial charge. Uh, it's a 15-minute mark and then one ounce at the end of the boil. And then, uh, oh, look. In case I forget all the details, there it is, right, written down in my brewer's logbook. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, not counting all the time that it took to uh, to set all this stuff up. And by the way, we're, we're using the uh, 15 minutes uh, as the boil time. This is the, uh, the the electric brewing system that I got from High Gravity, uh, HighGravityBrew.com, and uh, usually I'm doing all grain. Uh, brews in this, but but you can still do extract in this as well. I'm assuming this is the first time I've ever done it. It's got a big old honking uh, Blickman boil coil in the bottom of it. Hello! And then it's got uh, the EBC SV uh, uh, controller. Now, I'm not going to be using the pump function because I'm not going to be mashing, but I am going to be using the heat function and then this handy knob on the side adjusts the uh, vigor of the boil. And when you're using the uh, system, be sure to uh, connect the temperature probe that's right there into the thing, otherwise you won't get heat. So anyway, uh, I've got it plugged into the house, and uh, oh, I'm starting out also with uh, five and a half gallons of water. And uh, by the way, there's the little the basket that goes uh, comes with the system. Since I'm not using the grain bag, I'm not using that. So what else? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the heat in the... Oh, I, could, I, I guess I could do that right now. Turn on the heat. And uh, you can't see it because of the light. But the numbers are lighting up. And then I'm going to crank the, the heat up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to the boil. Uh, and ooh, let's start the timer. What, what time is it? It is 10 till 11. So it's, it's about 10 till 11 and uh, I'm starting the, the water heating up. The next step when the water gets a little bit warmer where the, uh, the extract will dissolve a little better. I'm going to put uh, both bags, uh, six pounds total of light dry malt extract in there and uh, bring it on up to the boil. So I guess that's where we'll, we'll pick it up next. She, she, she likes the 80s channel. All right, some things have changed. Notably, the dog has moved. She's now over here. And uh, the reason that she likes the 80s channel on Sirius is because she, she's, she's waiting for Bow Wow Wow to come on. Okay, now, uh, so, uh, what, what, what has happened is, is the water was warming up. I uh, dissolved the two bags of the uh, light dry malt extract in the water. And it's about uh, 20 minutes later, and the water is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And I went ahead and put the uh, wort chiller in there. And I've got my hops dangling, my hop bag dangling into the wort there. Uh, and uh, that's got two ounces of Cascades in it. 
And I'm going to squeeze those every now and then with the spoon, with that particular spoon. And then um, when it comes up to the boil, I'll start the timer and uh, we'll go for 15 minutes. And at the end of that, I'll shut it down and, and put this, this other ounce of hops in there for the finish. And uh, then we'll uh, put some water through this, this copper and chill it, uh, chill it down. So there we go. What do you think about that? She is thrilled. Okay, literally moments after I stopped tape uh, the previous uh, time, this started happening. We got a big boil going. In fact, I had to turn down the, uh, the temperature controller on the side of the uh, thingy there uh, to, to calm it down a little bit. So we got a boil going. Uh, I think I'm going to move the dog because I'm, I'm, now I'm afraid that you know she's going to get scorched somehow. But anyway, uh, so it's, what, 20 minutes after 11. And which is, what, 30 minutes after we uh, started, uh, no, not even 30 minutes, 25 minutes after we started the uh, the heat, and we got a good boil going, so we're going to boil for 15 minutes, and uh, you know what, I'm a rebel, I'm going to go ahead and put my oral flock tablet in there, get that going, again with a fly, wow, that is a huge, no, it's a bee, holy smokes, all right, uh, so we got a boil going, uh, every couple of minutes, I'm going to be squeezing the uh, the hop bag to get the, the good uh, bitterness into the wort. And, and I know you're saying, hey, James, why don't you build a spider thing? You know, out of PVC and, and all that, and, and put your hops in that. So, uh, well, <sighs> something else to do. I can't squeeze that. Well, I guess I could. Anyway, so that's where we are. And I'm going to be getting the hose to uh, connect to the chiller here in just a moment. Okay, uh, it's now 25 minutes till the, uh, so it's been 15 minutes. I have gone ahead and put the uh, hop, uh, the, or the flame out edition of the hops in there, the one ounce. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. And I will put the cover on and I will start the chilling process. Okay, the wort's been chilling for like 30 minutes to get down to pitching temperature in cooler weather. That would be less time. I didn't feel like dragging out the uh, ice water recirculating rig because it's a lazy day. It's what it's all about. So anyway, so like what? An hour and an hour and 15 minutes past when we got started. Here's five gallons of pale ale, good Cascade pale ale, and. Uh, now, the moment of truth. There it goes. Into the fermenter. And I'm going to pitch the yeast in there, USO packet of USO5. I'm going to shake it up, even though it's probably getting pretty aerated right now. The uh, original gravity is 1048, which is about... Uh, what I planned, so the beer would be about 5% alcohol, and uh, you know, not too much to clean up. So, extract beers are more expensive, but what you're paying for is time, essentially. So, you know, it's not like a six hour brew day, it's just like a couple hours. Anyway, all right, back, back to you in the studio, or back to me in the studio. The Wiggins. So how easy is that? Very easy. Very, very easy. It's 15 minutes easy. 15 minutes. That's the 15 minute pale ale uh, with Cascade hops. You may pour. Sir. I will pour. Pour with vigor. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the older I get, the more vigor I need. <laughs> it's windy outside. I hope it's not too windy. Got the wind chimes going. Yeah. Woo. Cheers. Cheers. I think I shorted you on the beer. It's all right. We got more. Beautiful this is beer. Beautiful. It's Look lovely. at that. Wow. It looks like a beer from my childhood. <laughs> Not that I drank beer in my childhood. Just the commercials on Just TV. Just the commercials. That's right. It's beautiful. It's, it's effervescent. 
I'll drink a little beer in my childhood. Mmm, that's very tasty. That's delicious. I would put that against uh, many pale ales out there on the market today. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing is that you can uh, vary the hops. You can change the hops out. You can add more yeah. hops even at the end uh, to get even more, uh, uh, more hop aroma and flavor. Uh, Andy Sparks on Learn to Homebrew Day did one of these uh, and did uh, one of the experimental hops that we got at the uh, Homebrewers Conference uh, out in um, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I lose track. <laughs> it's just a blur. But, uh, but it's an excellent way to, uh, to experiment with hops. Uh, it's just an excellent way to crank out a delicious uh, homebrew. Well, it really is. I mean, you know, if your back's against the wall, you got a big party coming, right? Mm -hmm. you, you've, you've told everybody that you brew beer. Right. But you got nothing. <laughs> You're working with nothing here. And so what do you do? You get some malt extract, you get some hops, mm. you throw it in a high gravity brewer. That was a paid announcement. <laughs> <laughs> you throw it in something hot, something you boil hot. it up, right. you cool it down, right. you put it in a bottle, you serve it in about a week or two. You put a little yeast. Well, yeah. That's just good. Yeah, I'm and, in fact, uh, let's What'd see. I, I brewed this on, uh, on October 8th and I bottled it on October 22nd. See, that's great. So you, prob you, you probably have, have time, especially if you're kegging, you probably have time uh, to do some uh, maybe for Christmas. And actually, that is uh, pertinent to my personal life story, because I need a Christmas beer, and I and I really I've got some, but they're they're esoteric, and my family <laughs> are not esoteric beer drinkers. This would be a great beer to bring to the holiday gathering, Very and I would have plenty of time to, to brew it. There you go. Thank you, James. Thank you, Steve. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. Cheers. Come and visit us on the web. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of both our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs, extract brewing and partial mashing, stepping into all grain, low-tech lagering and decoction mashing, introduction to wine kits, and our Basic Brewing Brewer's Logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. Drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Write to james at basicbrewing.com, steve at basicbrewing.com, or just use the contact form on basicbrewing.com. Ah! <laughs> we haven't even gotten started.